goal of graduates of these Keene schools will be um, they'll be prepared to identify new technology based business opportunities within their own engineering disciplines. So Nike was really interested in seeing how the existing Nike Plus sports shoe sensing technology, so really it's embedded accelerometers and pressure sensors with iPhone or iPad integration. They wanted to see how those could be re-envisioned or reapplied as the basis of some new sports related either product or service. So within this we offered an opportunity for student teams to find different ways to exploit the existing core technology with a specific emphasis on identifying new market segments. And our idea was to insert the Nike Plus sensor into a mouth guard and what we would do with that is we'd be able to read the impact on players playing sports and be able to determine whether or not that they could have a concussion. Uh, we came up with this because I personally have suffered from concussions in my past uh, playing sports and we've seen how it has affected me and others in uh, sports. So as a group we decided to do something that was personal to us, something that we believed in and something that would have an, an impact on each one of us. Well the inspiration for my project came from actually came from, I'm a member of the Widener soccer team, so when we would look over film, like game film, there were a lot of different interpretations of what went on. So I thought if there could be a better way to identify patterns within the game and get better feedback from training, such as like compatible players, the amount of percentages of passes completed, something along those lines, something a lot more numerical, that would just facilitate the process a little better. So from there, I started to start to design a system that would incorporate sensors in the shoe as well as the ball. In the beginning of spring term, we actually kicked off the official competition by giving each of the student groups the opportunity to actually utilize the sensors. As part of the competition, a working prototype was not needed. However, it was important to us and Nike to make sure that the technology, the um, reapplied technology was actually feasible. So in order to do that, the students needed a good understanding of the existing technology and the limits. So this all culminated in our Keen Networking Nike event, where our seven student teams showcased their 90-second pitch videos. So really these were 90-second student-produced, student-made videos that they really acted as a way, as a voice to share their concepts, their ideas. Well, we did research into concussions and saw that 75% of concussions go undiagnosed and typically in a lot of times in professional sports if the trainer doesn't recognize that someone had impact they, they don't pull them from the game and they continue playing. And it's not until many years later do we realize that concussions actually have an impact on people and that they are hurt later on, that they may not have been hurt at the time. So bringing the classroom out into experiential learning and seeing that working in a team, working in a group setting, uh, using products that are already out there but that can be better utilized to significantly improve concussions and uh, not only sports but the medical field too. Um, so I would just like to see any of us succeed and be able to say yes, our product was out there and it came from Widener.